Charles is Malachi, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics where we grow cool plants and today we're going to do a, an update to our 5-in-1 fig tree. This is a fig tree that started off as a single cutting and we've been pruning it year after year to the point that we've created five desired branches that are now grafted with five different varieties of figs and again the reason that we created this is because I don't have that much land to be planting five varieties of figs in my garden and yes I love figs but are not enough to take away from the other fruit trees that I've wanted to plant in my garden so now I've got a fig tree behind me that's got black and brown and green I've even got a tiger fig that I'm um, grafting on as well and those will be the five varieties of figs I'm gonna get to enjoy so I want to bring you in as I'm ready to start now taking off the approach grafted variety of figs off of the parent that was contributing its roots while the approach graft zone has healed over over the last couple of months. Let's take a look what we accomplished here. If you take a look in here, you see what we did last and I'll post the last video update right now in the upper right hand corner to this video. But if you come in a little closer, you can see that the the ties that I've had around it. So originally we had it wrapped in the fishing string. We then wrapped it in wet paper towel over um, a few weeks. But you can see it's starting to strangle at this particular zone. And this is the desired flavor of fig that we want. This here is the root stock. And we're going to be taking that off today. So we need to, one, separate the root stock from the scion wood. At, you know right here this here is going to be the sound wood we're going to cut off and then the rootstock at this zone so the flow of the nutrients will go from the rootstock into the desired scion wood but we're also going to have to remove the fishing string as well which we're going to do next as it's now constricting its growth and we want to make sure that doesn't um, impede and it can eventually heal over so what we're going to do now is we're just going to take our pruners and we're going to cut this here is the rootstock so we're going to cut off the rootstock first And here we go. And then we're going to remove the scion wood. So again, this here is of the variety, if you take a look over here, it's called the um, Black Mission Fig. And it's growing on a rootstock that produces green figs. And we're now going to remove the scion wood, like so. And now we can remove this plant as well. to prove that this, so now we've got this rootstock supporting this black mission fig, which is already making figs by the way. So we're gonna take off the fig as well as this is gonna be taking excess energy and also contributing weight against those healing tissues. So we're gonna remove what's called a brebra crop, which is the first crop of figs. And we're gonna to hope to enjoy the main crop of figs this summer and hopefully you'll subscribe to watch um, the figs, which will ultimately come out of each of those leaf zones as you can see there's a fig in this node more importantly let's take a look at this because that branch is coming out as well so you can see that there's little baby figs right there in the nodes to many of the leaves so that'll eventually hopefully develop into a fig over the summer but this branch which is now growing in this zone which is taken away from another fig that i've grafted down below we're going to end up removing this wood as well so i'm going to prune that like so and then for demonstration purposes what i'm going to do is i'm going to tie this cutting to this stick over here so you can see that this is going to start dying in the next few minutes and within the hour and you're going to see that the grafted wood is now getting its water and sugars from the grafted zone and that'll be your proof immediately that we have success so let me tie this on real quick another branch off the sign wood i'm also going to take off which is this one over here which is growing in the direction of another grafted variety behind me so i'm going to remove this as well and you can see when i prune i'm pruning as close as i can to the stem, so as the stem expands, it'll heal over as well. But now we've got about a foot and a half of scion wood with a couple of branches, and we've got a couple little baby fruit that'll be here that as it develops, hopefully it'll grow. I'm also gonna remove this leaf as well, I just noticed, which is kind of impeding the leaves that are below it. So I'm gonna take off this leaf as well to encourage these two branches to get as much sunlight, to support as much fruit on this branch, hopefully by summertime. So we've got these two, and now we're gonna work our way down. Again, we've got this um, little cutting supported. It's not attached to anything because we're gonna watch this hopefully die over the next you know, few minutes to an hour and compare it to those others that are now grafted on just to you know, prove that we've accomplished success. Let's take a look at now the next cutting over here. And this here I got from Washington, the variety 
I can see over here, if you come in a little closer, I've left this tie on it, which is pink. And I've left this bag here, which is where these cuttings all originated from. I put them here in this sphagnum peat moss, and I'll put the video links down below so you can see the steps on what it took to create these cuttings. But the pink is the heart of Chicago. So now we've got um, our black mission fig over here, and then we've got Ch Chicago Hardy on this side. And we're gonna do the same thing. We started off in this cup, and then we've grafted this cup onto the, um, the rootstock. And we're now gonna remove the cup, like so. And we'll cut that off. And now we can still save this cutting to create another Chicago Hardy variety fig on its own root, but now we've got Chicago Hardy fig grafted onto a green variety of fig, which has got a lot of vigor and will definitely produce a nice sized tree of at least 15 to 25 feet. And now we're gonna remove the rootstock, which is competing with its branch. We're gonna remove the rootstock like so. Let me get in there a little closer. And, and now all of the energy and nutrients can go from the rootstock into the Chicago Hardy variety of fig and now support this growth. And look at how cool this is. And again, this was a gift by Richard in Washington who gave me these cuttings. And thank you for that. Next step is to remove the constricting tie. So if you come in a little closer, you can see that it's strangled over here. And this is such a cool demonstration. And um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the, the twine, like so. And we'll just cut that off. And now you can just see it, it's actually just letting go. And we're just gonna pull all that twine out of there. There it goes. As soon as you touch it, it just pulls back. It was under a lot of stress and pressure as this has been expanding and also at the same time, forcing the two to become one. And now we'll just remove all of that tie. So let's come in a little closer. I just took off all the ties on this one, which is the Black Mission Fig now graft, and then also on the Chicago Hardy. And you can also take a look at how it's healed. We didn't take a look at the callus, and the callus is what's formed between the cambium layers of the Chicago Hardy variety, and then this green rootstock that we use to support it. So this has now since healed, and take a look at this sucker over here. We gotta make sure that we remove the suckers so that the energy and the flow of sugars goes to support the grafted um, variety that we've selected and not go into its own branch, which is this. The plant would desire to support this instead of our grafted union, so we're gonna have to remove that to make sure that the flow of sugars continues to support the grafted union. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna use a product called Ivy Organics, and um, I'm gonna use this as a paste to seal those wounds, because we're gonna to wanna to now make sure that nothing enters those cracks and crevices. This is the perfect entryway for pests and wood-destroying organisms to enter. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna seal it like so. What we're also doing by also applying the product, whether you use colors white, brown, or green, which are the three colors the product comes in, what you're also doing is you're keeping the bark a lot cooler, and sunburn and sun scald are issues that actually damage the trees, branches, and trunks. So by doing so, we're gonna keep it a lot cooler, and the plant can focus more so on growth and supporting fruits that no figs, you know that the pith, which is the center part of the plant, is very soft and very giving. It naturally collapses, especially in the top inch or two, and another perfect entryway for insects to get into it um, and start potentially hollowing out the center of the trunk. As you can see with this, we've continuously added coats of ivory organics, and you can still see there's a little dip here um, in the plant, but I've seen some that run several inches into the fig, as that pith is very soft. So I'm just gonna add a little more over here, and then if you take a look at um, these cuttings over here, you can see that the pith is white. You can see, especially on this green one over here, it's less evident over here because this part of the branch has been dead for a while. Um, but we're gonna seal those cuttings as well to make sure that it's now protected by the oils that are in the product of Ivory Organics. And let's take a look at the product real quick. It's Ivory Organics, a three-in-one plant guard, protection against damaging sunburn insects and rodents for use on your roses, fruit and nut trees, ornamental trees and shrubs, and it's now registered material for use in organic agriculture. And it's these oils that offer defenses to um, 
the pests, including um, castor, cinnamon, clove, cedarwood, peppermint, and rosemary oils. Um, what we're gonna do last is to help keep this plant a lot cooler is we're gonna now spray it with the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Plant Guard. And we're just gonna shake that and spray those that we just cut. And I'll have you zoom in once I finish spraying so you can see what we've created over here. We've created a nice organic sunblock to help keep the plant several degrees cooler as it's now going through a lot of shock. We've just separated the plant from its parent root and it's now handing, holding on to the grafted union for support. And we're gonna now visit the plant in the next hour or two and we're gonna see the success of the grafts compared to this cutting over here, which again, if you come in a little closer, you can see with this cutting, I've just attached it to a stake. It's not connected to anything over here, but we're gonna watch this plant wilt while these continue to thrive. Let's, let's come back in the next hour or two. It's been an hour since we separated the graft unions between the, um, the potted black mission fig and the rootstock over here, which is another green variety, as well as this one over here, which is the um, Hardy Chicago variety. So it's been an hour now. We use this as the test, which is just one of the cuttings that we took off of the black mission. And you can see that it has since wilted being that it's not connected to anything anymore. However, these grafted varieties are still thriving and doing very well, you know, and you can see that the sunblock has since dried that we used as a Ivory Organics um, spray, and you can see that it's doing well. That means it is getting its sugars from the supporting now rootstock over here, and this one over here, it's getting its supporting sugars um, from its rootstock as well and supporting this beautiful growth. Since then, I've now removed two other grafts behind it. And let me share those with you as well. If you want to come around back, you can see that over here, we've separated the brown turkey fig. Again, this here is the rootstock and the graft is over here. So if you want to zoom in and take a look at the graft, you can see the callus union between the two. And then the fourth one that we have over here is the Kadota fig. And if you want to come around a little further, you can see over here that particular graft union over here. This again is the rootstock supporting the scion wood. You can see that it too has since calloused. And then back here is our tiger fig. And if you could zoom in on this, I've left it alone and I have not separated those two yet as I don't see a good callous tissue forming between those two. So of the five and one figs that we've created, We've successfully accomplished four, and I'm waiting on that fifth one to heal a little bit further before we separate that one. But this is super exciting, and I hope you see that as well. But we've got some super exciting results. I hope you've enjoyed this spring update, and we'll continue doing another update by summertime, and hopefully we'll see some fruit beginning to set on these five-in-one fig varieties. Stay tuned. And we did it. We've successfully accomplished the miracle of grafting. It's one of the miracles in the horticultural field of plant sciences. So if you found this video informative, be sure to like it. And most importantly, by subscribing below, you'll be connected to all these other educational gardening videos. Thanks again for watching and happy gardening.